What's going on guys? It's Scott Crow from Wish Data Aquatics TV and today we're talking about something very special to me. LED lighting systems, wave makers, and protein skimmers. Now I have questions sometimes about these products as well. So who do I go to? One of the guys I use is Logan from Reef Breeders. He's fantastic, gives us incredible customer service and answers all questions, not just for me, but for our customers and clients also. So instead of me explaining about it, let's bring on Logan from Reef Breeders. Hi, I'm Logan from Reef Breeders, and today we're going to talk not just lighting, but how Reef Breeders got its start, and how stores like Ocean State Aquatics are what help keep this awesome hobby going. What few people know is that Reef Breeders actually started out with aquaculture. When I went to high school, I attended the Bridgeport Regional Aquaculture Science and Technology Center, or as we called it, Aqua School. And as a class requirement, I had to spend at least 20 hours a semester working on some sort of project be it an internship or vocational project. I always had a passion for aquaculture, and I had actually started my first saltwater tank a few months before I joined the program. So I decided that I wanted to do something with aquaculture. What I did first was in my parents' house, I actually started culturing my own plankton, rotifers, and copepods, and I sold them on eBay and actually shipped them in priority mail envelopes and used like uh, empty water bottles to ship them out. Uh, so it was uh, you know, kind of a 100% profit business. I didn't have a power bill and the water bottles came from my grandmother. After a few months of running the aquaculture business, my tank experienced its first summer season. Now at the time I was running metal halides, so the tank actually climbed in temperature until my coral's health actually started to suffer. I was running a fan over the tank almost 24 hours a day. So I went and I did a little bit of research and I actually found out about LED lighting. Now, as a high school student, I couldn't afford any of the lights on the market, so I actually decided to build my own. I actually built my first kit using a Reef, Breeder, a Reef LED lights kit, and I put it together and wired everything in parallel to save money since you needed half the drivers. After building my very first LED system, I became enthralled with just the potential that these LEDs had. I did hours and hours of research looking at how LEDs affected corals, what kind of LEDs were on the market, and what colors I should use. And after all that, I actually got in touch with a factory that could build the lights to suit. From there, I actually created our first fixture, uh, which some of you may remember, it's called the value fixture. The value fixture took off, and from there I started expanding into different types of LEDs. Over time, the product line evolved to include more features like Cree LEDs, better controllability for sunrise, sunset, and moonlighting effects, as well as new and innovative materials like aluminum, which is highly resistant to salt water. We also along the way added Jibo, G-Cod, and Coral Box pumps, and became one of the first distributors for them in the U.S., providing an unparalleled warranty service that the factory just couldn't offer, and sellers on Amazon and eBay just couldn't compete with. From the beginning, Reef Breeders has strived to provide high quality, affordable products for hobbyists like you without breaking the bank and with unmatched warranty service in the United States. In the past year, I moved my company from my parents' garage to a location on Main Street in Wakefield, Rhode Island so that it's more convenient for me as I continue my studies at the University of Rhode Island. As my company continues to grow, I'd like to give thanks to store owners like Scott Crow at Ocean State Aquatics for using our products and spreading the word to their clients. Now, let's move on to lighting. When it comes to reef aquariums, there are several different types of lights. Metal halides, T5s, LEDs, plasma, or even natural sunlight can all be used to grow corals. My personal preference is, of course, LED lights. The main advantage of LEDs is, they, is that they provide a high-powered, evenly spread light at a very low wattage. As a rule of thumb, they typically use about half the power in terms of lumens per watt as, as a regular metal halide or T5 system. That means a lot, more light, a lot more energy goes to growing your corals as opposed to waste heat. LED lights also offer unparalleled con control and customizability. For example, you could tailor the spectrum of an LED light to lean more towards the 450 and 420 nanometer violet range, which means you put more energy into the growth spectrum for your corals than you do into waste heat. For example, many metal halide systems have a high output peak in the yellow range. Most of this light isn't typically used by corals and ends up being wasted energy. The advantage of LEDs is that you could pick and choose which colors you use and focus on what grows corals and eliminate what doesn't. 
When it comes to controllability, LEDs simply can't be beat. They could dim as low as 1% and can ramp in thousands of a percent over time to simulate a sunrise, sunset, and moonlight cycle. That means your corals are going to experience what they experience on the equator on a daily basis. You start out with a sunrise, work up towards high noon, and then work down with a gradual sunset. This adds a new, this adds a new amount of realism to your tank that was never seen before. Unlike many of our competitors, Reef Breeders has a wide range of LED controlling options. From the simple handheld remote with our Photon V2s that has a no fuss setup, no need to mess with your phone, to the control in the Aqua Helios and Nanolite Plus, which is more suited towards high-tech hobbyists who want to use their smartphone to control their light. Whether it's a smartphone app or a simple-to-use handheld remote, you can control your LEDs with ease with Reef Breeders products. In addition to LED lighting, Reef Breeders also offers a wide range of G-COD, Gbo, and Coral Box pumps. The tank behind me right now is actually running a Gbo PP15 Wave Maker, and you can see it moves the whole tank, and it's a six-foot tank. Now, we also offer DC return pumps, like the G-COD DCS return pump series, which is actually running many of the frag tanks behind me. We also offer the Coral Box DCP return pumps, which work with standard U.S. plumbing. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm Logan Vangeli, the owner of Reef Breeders LLC, and I'm filming right here at Ocean State Aquatics in Coventry, Rhode Island, which offers our entire product range. And thank you all for watching, and keep on reefing. <laughs>